hi everyone and welcome back to my take on it with your angelic karma it is thursday april 25th and we are live once again those of you that want to join in with me on the chat you're most definitely welcome to do so this is kind of funny and it's very interesting something that was passed on to me you all sit back um and can you relate it is kind of i don't want to say controversial but it is funny and it, it you all are going to be surprised about the multitude of people that have um chimed in on it and i'm happy that the person that passed it on to me was interested in my take on it and wanted me to read it to you all this is from a black guy and this is what he states i'm a black guy and sometimes i get really embarrassed by what other black people do he states this is his question do whites latinos asians get embarrassed for their race when they see someone acting super super stupid this is what he's writing this is what his um question is and i went over it a little bit and, and some of it had me laughing some of the different responses because it it got a lot of attention and this is who starts it out and this guy states i'm white anytime i go to walmart I, I think that everybody answering made him the, it made the person that asked the question feel a lot, lot better. So that was the first answer. Somebody else says, I'm Hispanic and I hate when I see Mexican girls who sharpie on their eyebrows. I guess he's meaning when they get the, he stated a sharpie. That's like a marker when they draw the eyebrows on. He states that he's Hispanic. He gets embarrassed when he sees that. We're going to get into the serious stuff also. I'm going to um, stop on what your angelic karma wants to comment on. I'm not going to comment on any of these, though. But there's something else I want to comment on. This person states, I'm Native American. And it's extremely depressing to find people of my race that fit the stereotype of a drunk and lazy Indian is what they state. This is what a Native American person answers. The next person states, I'm Armenian and the entire Kardashian family Kardashian? Kardashian. Family needs to disappear is what they state. Now, this person states, I'm originally from Kentucky and I swear anytime there's a local news story, they pick the most ass backwards, backwoods, redneck, white, T-R-A-S-H, toothless, S-O-B, they can find. L-O-L is what this person writes. Now, this person states, I'm British and I'm regularly embarrassed by my country and its problems with alcohol as well as how stupid our tourists are when they go abroad. Somebody else states, I'm white and I'm embarrassed by just about the entire History Channel lineup. Now, this person states, I'm embarrassed when anyone does anything stupid because they're the same species as me. This person states, I am... Asian and I get extremely embarrassed when my Asian parents or grandparents try to abuse the consumer system, returning things that obviously should not be returned. I don't know why, but Asian parents aren't ashamed to do shameful things, this person states. Now, this one states, let's see what this one here states. Now, okay. I say effing white people to myself about 10 times a day, this person states. Now, somebody else states. I get really embarrassed for all white people and all of humanity when a white person is racist, especially if they try to rationalize their racism. When anyone is racist, it's embarrassing, but the, the people who try to scientifically prove it are the worst like people who try to prove snakes used to be able to talk that's what that person states that they are embarrassed about now this one states i i'm uh, asian here they state william hung is a disgrace to my race they state here now this one states george w bush is what it passes them this is a white man he said george w bush <laughs> makes him embarrassed okay now, somebody states, 
I'm Mexican and there's nothing more annoying than corridos blasting. Seriously, turn that shit down. That's what they state. Now, this one here states, um, we're getting close to what I want to um, talk about. Let's see. Somebody says, I'm embarrassed to be human. Okay, somebody else says, I'm Iranian and I dislike 80 to 90% of the Persian people I meet. I have no idea how the people inside inside Iran are. However, the, the Persians in North America are simply the most annoying minority ever. Their obsession with status and money is ridiculous and the catitis. Don't get me started. So that they're embarrassed about their race, quotation marks, also quotation marks with race. Now, Asian here, this person states, nothing makes me cringe more than the role roles that Asians play in movies, especially the males, the pussy pushover, the stereotypical I know can speak English. It makes Asians look, look like a joke, they state. So they state that they're embarrassed to be Asian when Asians, um, they see Asians on the big screen playing certain roles. Now, this one states, I know what you mean. I'm a white guy from an upper middle class background. One time I was vacationing in Mexico and some white lady in front of me gets all nasty with the hotel clerk and says, I don't speak Mexican. It just seems like total rich suburban white lady ignorance. Like she thinks she's so above these people that she doesn't even even have to know the proper name of their language. It's not Mexican. It's Spanish like that. So doubt when it, this is what they're embarrassed about. Now, So, I want to get here with mine. Okay. Somebody says Republicans embarrass white people all the time. If you've ever seen the Tea Party rally, you know what I'm talking about. Now, let's talk about the Tea Party rally. Even that, even though that's not, this is what I want to talk about. If you have people that are at certain types of rallies because because uh, there's going to be somebody uh, uh, a gay man is about to answer and i'm going to touch on his but that's not what i want to talk about either now if you if you go to certain rallies and you have a certain type of people presenting themselves as of that um thought process it is embarrassing now especially when they're with short shorts on short jean shorts and and red white and blue tops on and 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 they are not very educated. And then it's, you're at Tea Party rally. Okay, yeah, that is embarrassing. Now, if you had people that were dressed better and well, and and were educated, and they were at a Tea Party rally, even if you weren't in agreement with the Tea Party rally, would that make you not embarrassed? Is it the the people like that, or what is it? Now, this person states. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm not gonna state that. This this is what the gay guy states. He states, "Well, I'm I, this is this is getting into more of the serious stuff." Well, I'm a gay man, and I find some gay men to be extremely embarrassing. And this goes back to even the tea party thing. Some gay guys definitely have a pissing contest to see who can out queen the other one i'm all for being who you who you want to be but when we're trying so hard to get equal rights i feel like some guys really need to shape up gay pride parades are really just irritating to me if we're gonna have a parade i'd rather that parade not involve half naked men dancing around on a float let's hold a parade that's about actual pride better yet i'd rather hold a march sometimes my community frustrates me so he states that's what he's embarrassed about what do you all think about that? It's just like with the Tea Party thing. I feel that um, it is... Um, what do you all think about that? So we're going to... Let's get into this part here because this is why I want to add in. Um, because when you, when you talk about like the gay pride March, 
And, and even when you talk about the Tea Party rally, which is strange to talk about them in the same sentence, is it the people that are representing it in the ones that we see on television that is causing the embarrassment? If it was shown in a different light with different people, like the gay guy stating that, okay, let's have a march. It's embarrassed to be naked on the float and dancing. And so if it was presented differently in a march, just like if the Tea Party was presented different in a march, would it be less embarrassing? Okay, you know is that's that's a question now this is what we get into the serious part this is what they state surely this only happens if you're in a minority and you think that ethnic major and you think the ethnic majority would judge you for it if you were living in africa this is what they're telling to the black guy to answer the question this is what somebody's saying you wouldn't be embarrassed by other black people because everyone else would be black Almost every, almost everyone. If you're a white person, you feel embarrassed, especially if there were negative stereotypes about white people. As a white person, I don't feel embarrassed by what other white people do because they're not white people to me. They're just people. Hmm. So... So somebody answers here and, um, and, and they state, all people should be just people to you. I get what you're trying to say, but honestly, I really doubt people, white people are the majority anymore, especially in major North American cities. So say you're in North Cal New York City, it's such a cluster F there of all sorts of races, lots of multi-race people to multi-racial people also. Are they people, are, are the people, their brown, yellow, caramel people, or are they just people to you also? Now, say you're in Atlanta where it appears the majority are black people. You as a white person would be the minority in a lot of areas. Does your brain automatically add a color adjective to the word people, whereas it may not in bumfuck Kentucky? So they're asking the, the white person, well, when you're around just white people, they're just people to you. But what about when you're around people that aren't white? What, what are you thinking then? Okay, that's what they're asking. And then somebody else states, I knew something what somebody was going to say that white people are the majority in many places, or more specifically, black people are, are the minority. Is being in a minority that makes someone feel like another member of their race might harm people's perception of them. It's not just race. It can be nationality, gender, sexuality, or any other sort of recognizable group. It, it can be that. It's not about race, just like the gay guy came in. Now, and it could be women also, even though that wasn't the question. So, is that, it wouldn't just be, um, it wouldn't just be, um, race somebody states i'm chinese i cringe a little when i see chinese people talking loudly in, in in chinese on their iphones on the bus and in public it sounds extremely boorish to the uninitiated ear now this is where we're getting into the part that i want to speak about here I bet most of the people on this thread saying I'm not embarrassed by anything my race does identify as white. It's pretty simple, really. In the United States, the default is white. White people are the majority. They can go their entire lives here surrounded by people who look just like them. Race isn't an, as in, isn't an important part of white identity because society assumes that ordinary people are white. Blacks, Hispanics, Asians, and other racial minorities don't have that luxury. They're defined as other and constantly reminded that Western culture is dominated by people racially different in depth. That consciousness of race encourages minority individuals to see other members of that minority as one of their own at the same time. So, so this person is stating that white people may not be embarrassed. Well, some of them were. A lot of them, the first person to answer was a, a white man. He stated that every time he goes to Walmart, you know, is so it... So I, I guess the rest of them that would be saying that they're not embarrassed, it would be white because I guess it's with them the majority and they could just be around one another is what this person is stating. Well, and maybe not seeing that, uh, seeing a real kinship the way that other um, minority groups tend to see a kinship with one another. Because I guess when you're a minority, you tend to stick together because there's a majority. 
So if if one is doing something that the group can feel that it embarrasses them and causes people to think that they're all the same, that's where the embarrassment is coming from. I'm going to tell you something that that made me embarrassed. I'm, I'll talk about it in a second. At the same time, society itself tends to judge members of minority by the actions of one, especially when those actions confirm pre-existing negative th- stereotypes. I've heard several Arabs, for instance, say that whenever they hear about a terrorist act, their first thought is to hope the perpetrator isn't Arab or Muslim since Americans can't tell the difference. Now, Brizik shot 70 plus kids. Terrorism against abortion clinics is committed almost wholly by whites, but nobody in the United States is calling for surveillance surveillance of white men or even Norwegian immigrants. If an Arab had been the shooter in Norway, well, I'll, I'll let you all imagine what Fox News will be doing right now. When society is going to blame all members of your race or religion for the action of one, you tend to internalize the same viewpoint, fair or not. Another example of this regarding gender from XKCD, first panel male student makes a mistake. Professor says, you suck at math. Second panel female student makes a mistake. Professor says, girls, girls suck at math. Get the idea? If I, if I was in Japan, say in one of a handful of white people, I probably would be embarrassed at seeing another white person act like a moron. I would be in the minority there and I would know that most of the people there were judging white people in general by said moron's actions in the United States. Not so much. So you wouldn't feel that he he's white and he states that he doesn't feel in the United States that people are judging white people by one white person's actions. But if he was in Japan and he was a part of a small population of white people there, and somebody white was doing something, he would be embarrassed. Well, this is what I want to talk about. Well, so in the United States, white people are judged. If, if, so if They are judged by other pe- white people's actions. Like one white person could be racist, and a lot of people think that well, all of them are like that. So you're judged as the majority of being a part of minority, of majority, excuse me, here also. They can say, well, well, um, um, all, all white people are racist because one or ten or a hundred or thousands of them are. And you're going to be judged and you could be the majority. Or they'll think, well, the majority of them are white or, or racist. The majority of whites are racist. They could think that. So you don't have to be in a different country and be the minority. You could be the majority in a country and, and people can pin you down as... Um, um, being a part of what what has been historically proven to a certain extent or what how people can view you being a part of uh, the race and what history has shown like that and they can say what well, the majority are like that this person states for me I for me I'm white. Whenever I hear a white person talking about someone who did something wrong to them, if it's a black person, they will purposely point this out. If it's a white person, they will simply say that a person did something to them. This always bothers me and embarrasses me. So that's what this person states. Now, somebody states, I'm Latino and I'm ashamed of some Latinos, their behavior. This person states, don't tie your identity up with your race so much you are not your race you are an individual how are others supposed to see you as an individual if you do not somebody answers them because that sounds good on paper somebody answers them and states um spoken like someone who is who's never felt self-conscious about his race because of the treatment they've gotten from others and somebody else states you are not your race but your race is a part of who you are you shouldn't let any it let one aspect of a of your person define you but neither should you ignore it completely exactly exactly this person says i'm asian 
And I'm really ashamed when I see groups of exchange visa new immigrant students on public transits being loud, disruptive, and whatever. What makes it worse is that they're always speaking Chinese. I know it's hard, but I really wish they kept it down and just attempted to speak English. This person states, I'm American and I live in Japan. I identify less with my race of being white and much more with my national identity of being American. When I lived in a different country, also for nine years, it was more... It would, people identify me more of being American like that is, is, it's just that they're seeing you, they see you more as, uh, from a different country like that is what you are first, you know, it is those types of things. So he, this person states, I'm American and I live in Japan. I identify less with my race of being white and much more with my national identity of being American because that's how they're going to be seeing you. I'm constantly embarrassed by the current conditions of America. And then I come on platforms and I see that we actually have some people that care to try and make it a better place. It's at, it's at least a bit consoling. This person states, I'm white, and dude, it takes us white people 30 seconds on a history book to be embarrassed for another white person. Now, this person states, I'm white, and no, I don't get embarrassed by other white people. I guess I don't consider myself so closely linked to another person just because we're the same color. Now, so somebody says, I'm not honestly have never felt embarrassed by my race. I just stay in the knowledge that the human race as a whole are fucking idiots. Okay. I'm more with this person. So let's see. Now, this is what I got embarrassed by. Now, I, I, made, I put in the community tab. I feel last week about a restaurant. I, I love the restaurant. It's a high end restaurant. Beautiful view. I was I was stating that I was going to go there yet again. I was looking at a different restaurant. I was just looking down at restaurants and I was looking at the restaurant's menu. And you know how people upload their own videos that they put on there? First, I looked at this restaurant. It was very nice. It was equally nice as the one I was talking about. Very classy um, dinner, um, well-dressed place to go, very sophisticated, very elegant. I was looking at the pictures. I was like, and I like the ambience. I like the pictures. That's what drew me to it. The dining tables, the tablecloth, the napkins, the, the food, the menu, everything looked per perfect. The ambience looked perfect. It was just beautiful. I clicked on a video that somebody uploaded and I could hear I wasn't embarrassed, but it turned me off. The voices, the loud talking, but it was a very nice, elegant restaurant. It was like people were talking like they were in some type of cantina. And I was like, why are those people in there? And why do they have to be so loud, like wanting their presence to be known that they're in the restaurant? I don't like when you, in the United States, when the place looks classy and elegant and you look at the pictures, you look at everything, it's like perfectly laid out, very elegant. And then you listen and the people, I guess they want you to know that they're in there. And they want to bring to attention that they're in there and they be like talking loud and then their voices in there. It's just, I don't like, that turns me off and that's embarrassing. Now this one, we're going to leave it here. This one states that he's answering the black guy's question. He says, I'm a white German here. Nothing really comes to mind regarding embarrassment. He states, okay, he's being sarcastic. And then somebody asks, answers him and states, master race, are you here? You heard him, folks. Okay, everyone, we're going to leave it there until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.